TX1's touchscreen is used to navigate and initiate functions, select and display information, and enter data. Upon device startup, the TX1 home screen showing the categories of available features is displayed. TX1's home screen displays icons for initiating the duplicate, hash, verify, browse, and restore functions. Using your finger, tap one of the icons to select and enter the feature setup screen. The TX1 displays a new screen that allows for job setup and start. The top, shaded navigation bar contains selectable icons that are linked to certain screens. The leftmost icon links directly to the side navigation menu. Tap this icon to access the home screen, device and job logs, system settings, network settings, device defaults, and other device information. The TX1 in the top navigation bar is linked to the home screen. The TX1 text will be highlighted when this icon is selectable to return to the home screen. The current time as set on the TX1 is displayed on the rightmost section of the top navigation bar. There is also a left arrow that appears in the Job Setup tab, which allows you to navigate back to the previous screen. From the home screen, we'll select the Browse function. Note the appearance of the back arrow. Tap on the back arrow to return to the previous screen, in this case, Home. There are two tabs on the main screen, Home and Jobs. Selecting the Home tab will display the TX1 home screen. The Jobs tab contains a summary of active, queued, and completed jobs. The menus on the lower edge of the screen provides access to source, destination, or accessory devices. The accessory icon appears when a USB device is connected. Tapping on the accessories icon will bring up specific information about that device. We'll eject this device before removing it. Tap Eject to complete this operation. Then, close the accessory screen to return home. Start a job by tapping on a feature icon. Here we select Duplicate to enter the Job Setup screen. The Job Setup screen provides a stepper-based flow from which you can enter job notes for your case. View Default Settings, Change Settings, and Start the Job. Let's discuss the Job Status screen. After a job starts, the Job Status screen is automatically displayed. In this example, we'll hash a source drive connected to one of the TX1's right block SATA connections. Tap Hash to select the drive and initiate the hash function. Tapping on Source, we see there's only one drive connected. If multiple drives are connected, you would select the drive to hash. Tap Start Hash from the lower screen menu. The Hash Job Status screen is currently displayed. Note the various status and progress information that are displayed. When the job completes, status is displayed. An audio completion status sound can also be heard. If desired, view the log file. Close the log file screen to return to the job status screen. Then, return home.